belief and I'm actually here, this is real. Now it's go time. All that preparation mentally that you thought you did goes out the window. Wow. What the f is going on? There's barbed wire, there's bars. We're actually at a prison. Let's go keep the noise down, walk this way. Yes, sir. I'm in hell. I've been to jail before. It's a bad place, it's not fun. I'm not happy. Welcome artists. Over the next 12 weeks, you will live and work together, competing in brutal tattoo challenges designed to put your skills to the ultimate test. In the end, only one of you will earn $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. To claim the title of Ink Master, you must first impress these gentlemen. First up, he travels around the world tattooing and specializes in American traditional. The legendary Oliver Peck. Just because you saw last season doesn't mean you know what to expect. Nothing's gonna be easy. If it was easy, the prize would be 20 bucks. Next up, he has spent the last 20 years tattooing around the globe and just opened Miami's hottest new tattoo shop and art gallery, handcrafted, Mr. Chris Nunez. Yeah. Here we are, season three. More than ever, people know what they're in for. So if you really feel like you're the one walking away with the check, then you have to claim that check. And what comes along with it are bumps and bruises. And of course, I'll be your third judge. There are definitely some really strong artists in this group. Whoever wins this thing is gonna have to do the work and get the out. This competition is not a walk in the park. And once again, Spike and Taco Bell are giving the viewers the opportunity to be a judge. Each week, viewers at home will scour every detail of your elimination tattoos at inkmaster.spike.com and vote for the tattoo that they think is the best. America's Vote will have a huge impact on the outcome of the live finale. America voting freaks me out. I gotta be on my game. At the end of last season, America voted to give a second chance to an eliminated artist that they felt deserved it the most. The artist who gets the most votes, Tattoo Baby. We will be seeing you next season on Ink Master. Tattoo Baby, come on out. I'm back and I'm here to win. I'm very thankful for everybody who voted for me. I'm just on such a different level than I was last season. I'm ready. Welcome back. Tattoo Baby coming back. She's been through this before. That's definitely a threat, completely. Now to the flash challenge. A skills test where the winner will gain an advantage going into the elimination tattoo. Tattooing would not be the same without the place you're standing in, prison. Some of the industry's most notable tattoo artists learned how to tattoo behind bars. Today, you will become part of that legacy. For this flash challenge, your human canvas is behind bars. No, no way. It's essential that artists bend to any obstacle they are faced with, which is why this week we are testing your flexibility. You'll especially need it in this flash challenge, because while you can tattoo any design you want on your canvas, you must tattoo prison style using only a single needle. With a single needle, it's all or nothing. The smaller the needle, the more every unsteady line stands out. There's very little room for error. Go too deep, you it up. You don't go deep enough, it's not gonna be there. Making this the first challenge, we are rattling cages. Each of you will have 90 minutes to complete your single needle tattoo. Let's go meet your canvases. Tattooing in a prison, that's crazy. I'm hoping that I'm going to be tattooing somebody nice, but I doubt it. We have real live inmates that we have to tattoo. It is freaking scary. The first competition in a jail cell with an inmate, it's nerve wracking. You have 90 minutes to complete your single needle tattoo and your time begins now. <laughs> 